artistic family welcome back to Shannon Gibson art and designs and for those of you who are new thank you for joining the family all right guys well first time trying a whole new technique I am using the waterfall technique to do the wing effect which gives you those gorgeous feather like wing triation lines which I am praying to keep. So what do I have here? I've got my scissors, a one ounce cup. I have my fruit cup that I use as an empty plastic container that I'm going to use to prop up the canvas. And then I have a 12 ounce clear cup that I'm going to cut. And then I have my glue gun. So what am I going to do with all of this? Let me show you. All right, guys. So I'm going to take the scissors and I'm going to cut this off and then what I'm going to do is use the glue gun and put a few beads here and place that in the center. Okay guys, so before we get started uh, on this 11 by 14 back stapled canvas, I have a, another little great handy dandy container. But first I'm just going to go over the colors. You guys know I love my metallics and I've been on the gold, white, bronze and black tangent <laughs> um, in the last few weeks. I love it. And I'm just playing around with the various colors um, in different techniques. So. I have my Acrylic Flow White by Artist Loft, my Acrylic Flow Black by Artist Loft, and my go-to 14 karat gold by Folk Art. What I need to do is take some of my white and I need to thin that out. And I only need about five and a half, six ounces for this total pour. So I'm gonna put about two ounces of the white and thin that out. I'm gonna lay just a small strip in the center and then once it's done, I will fill it in. Because this is my first time and I've watched many videos on wing effects, they're not as easy as it looks to get it if you're really looking for that triation and I may not spread the paint out on the sides of the canvas. I may just let it run from back to back on the canvas and then fill it in on the side. So we'll see. You have to cross your fingers for me, guys. So now I'm just going to use my dirty uh, water bottle. And again, I don't measure. I'm just going to put a tiny bit in and mix this around. And starts off really fluid. I poured that, as you guys can see, from my go-to bottles. And you gotta stir it up really good. Like, just don't put it in and stir it. Okay, you need to stir it up really, really good. And I still want that to be a little bit more fluid. I think that will be good. Now, when I do my tutorials, you guys will see exactly how I mix it. It takes a while. If you guys um, are not artists or you don't paint or have never done acrylic fluid, you may not know that, but sometimes, I mean, it feels like you're going to get carbo tunnel really quick because you really should stir a lot. Okay, so now you see that. Okay, you see how that just runs in there? Okay, and it runs right off the stick. So we are good and ready to go.
Sam. This is just awesome. Uh, I love it. I really, really love it. It turned out the opposite way than what I thought, but it still works. It still works. Instead of the white in the center, I got the gold with some black. Um, what I was thinking in my head is I'd have the white in the center and the gold and the black would outline the center and that would give me the definition of the wings. Some of my lines kind of moved out of the way a bit, but you can definitely still see that it would be like a feathered wing type look. Not as defined as what I want, but again, I love it. It looks absolutely delicious. Look at that. And also it reminds me of a piece of wood. Like in my Metallics Emotion part one, I did a wandering tree ring pour and you really have to check it out. I will link that. It looks so much like wood. It's unbelievable. Um, and I will be doing that one again at some point. But um, I'm really, really happy with this, guys. I really, really am. And even though I didn't get the exact feathered lines that I was looking for the wing effect, um, the ones that I do got, you guys know I love lines and I love move it movement and I really did get that and I did get some really cool cells and um, none of them are wonky and I just love this here I really love everything I really really love it and the black and that gold just totally made a bronze I mean that looks exactly like my artist loft bronze which I love and with the black yeah I really love it guys I'm really happy. I really like this technique. And yeah, yeah, I'm, you guys know when I start getting lost for words, <laughs> I'm in love and, and, and I absolutely love it. So yeah, that's great. I will definitely be doing that again. And I'm okay with this not being symmetrical. So could have been me before I started off to see that when I edit the video. Um, I could have started more over here than in the center, but that's perfectly okay. Um, not every pore has to be in the center. Same with like every ring pore center doesn't have to be in the middle. Um, most often, depending on how it looks in the composition, I kind of like my stuff kind of asymmetrical. Um, sometimes it gives it a little bit more character. And this one just works. I, I do love it. You can definitely tell that that was the technique I was going for, although it didn't come out exactly how I wanted. But for my first try, I'm exceptionally, exceptionally happy with it. So anyways, you guys let me know what you think. And I will see you guys in the next pour. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Take care. Bye.